Chinese Foreign Minister has embarked on a trip to Africa. And a five-day visit will see him tour Mauritania, Cape Verde, Mali and Cote d'Ivoire. This is Wang Yi's second trip to the continent this year. The first was in January where he toured Madagascar, Zambia, Tanzania, the Republic of Congo and Nigeria. The visits are aimed at boosting Sino-African relations. They follow the recent conclusion of the One Belt, One Road Forum in Beijing. The initiative plays a vital role in developing African infrastructure and economies. It also complements the African Union's Agenda 2063, which aims to integrate the continent and to develop sustainable economies. Wang Yi begins his trip to Africa in Mauritania, one of Africa's newest oil producers. China has played a crucial role building the country's oil sector, buying the first shipment of crude back in 2006. China has also helped develop Mauritania's infrastructure. It financed the extension of the Nouakchott port and the building of the Nouakchott International Airport, both in the capital city. The next stop on the minister's journey is Cape Verde, which has enjoyed more than 40 years of solid relations with China. Chinese investment in the country is mostly infrastructure, but other than that, every year the Cape Verde China Friendship Association holds a Chinese Culture Week to strengthen people-to-people -people and cultural exchange between the two nations. In Mali, China's military role comes to the fore. The United Nations mission in the country, MINUSMA, has thanked China for deploying peacekeepers to the embattled nation over the past few years. The fifth batch of troops was dispatched earlier this week. As the UN warns of further unrest in Mali, China has pledged to send in more peacekeepers, including engineers and medical staff, to boost MINUSMA's capacity on the ground. The minister's final stop is Côte d'Ivoire, the biggest cocoa producer on the continent. Wang Yi's visit follows that by China's top political advisor, Yu Jingsheng, in April. Ties between the two nations are at a high point, especially with the new energy projects funded by China's Exim Bank. Beijing is also helping the West African nation realize its five-year development goal, just one of several projects China supports in the region, and all of them fall under the umbrella of the ambitious One Belt, One Road initiative. Leslie Marungu, CGTN.